Greetings Math Lovers! As we have already announced with our previous videos, we are now uh, starting to work with very recent uh, high Olympiad problems from high school Olympiads all around the world. And uh, today we have selected an Olympiad from Poland Math Olympiad of 2025. But of course, bear in mind that this is only their first round. This is a simple problem, but with a very ingenious solution, which I wanted to share with you. So the problem says, let's f of x be a quadratic function equal to a times x squared plus b times x plus c, the graph of which doesn't intersect the x-axis. Prove that a times 2a plus 3b plus 6c is greater than 0. As always, if you have any idea, pause the video, write down a solution, or otherwise, let's see one together. So, as you see, the solution of this problem is quite short, and uh, as we already say, we should make good of the information which has been given to us uh, in the request of the problem. So, we are given the quadratic function ax squared plus bx plus c, the graph of which doesn't intersect the x-axis. We are x to prove the inequality with the coefficients of this quadratic function that says a times 2a plus 3b plus 6c is greater than 0. Now, first of all, the graph doesn't intersect the x-axis. What does that mean? These, as much of uh, the majority of you might know, means that the discriminant of the second degree equation ax squared plus bx plus c is negative. So, from the diagram over here, I have, make, I have uh, given, a, uh, let's say, a simple diagram over here with three graphs. When the discriminant is greater than zero, we have two solutions. When the discriminant is equal to zero, we have one solution. And when the discriminant of the uh, second degree equation is negative, we do not have any solutions, so it doesn't intersect the x uh, axis anywhere. So, in our case, d is smaller than zero, or b squared minus 4ac is equal than zero or in this case b squared divided by 4 is smaller than ac or by multi multiplying both sides with 12 and we will see later why I say to multiply with 12 we will have that 3b squared smaller than 12ac this is the inequality number one which we will use a little bit later in the proof of our inequality now, in order to prove that a times 2a plus 3b plus 6c is greater than 0, we can first multiply both sides of this inequality with 2, and we would have, and then we do the multiplication with uh, terms inside the brackets, and we have that 4a squared plus 6ab plus 12ac. In this case, it is greater than 4a squared, the same factor, plus 6ab, the same, the same factor, plus 3b because we determined on inequality 12ac is greater than 3b squared. So the left hand side is greater than the right hand side because 12ac is greater than 3b squared because we used inequality number one. But we can transform the right hand side of this inequality like this. 4a squared plus 6ab plus 3b squared is equal to 4a squared plus 6ab plus 9b squared divided by 4. So what are we doing? We are trying to complete the square plus 3b squared divided by 4 because the sum of these two factors is 3b squared. Now we, can, uh, we have completed the square for the terms inside the brackets, which is 2a plus 3b divided by 2 all squared plus 3b squared divided by 4, which is this expression over here is greater or equal to 0 at it, its minimum because both factors are positive factors. Their minimum value is equal to 0, so they are, let's say, it is the minimal, uh, the minimal value is 0 and they are always greater or equal to 0. So finally, we can use, let's say, this inequality over here and the transformation of the right-hand side of this inequality to say that 4a squared plus 6ab plus 12ac is greater, as we proved over here, that 4a squared plus 6ab plus 3b squared, which we just determined it is greater or smaller than 0. So this left-hand term being greater than this term over here, of course, it will be greater than 0 also. So we will have that 4a squared plus 6ab plus 12ac is greater than 0. Divide both, divide both sides by 2 and factorize a, and we have that a times 2a plus 3b plus 6c is greater than 0, which is what we wanted to prove for this problem. 
So as you see, the solution is quite simple but very ingenious and does not require any special knowledge of, uh, let's say, uh, of some known inequalities, uh, some, let's say, some known inequalities which must be Koshishvars, Muirhead, uh, Jensen and many, many other, uh, many other inequalities that there are out there. Of course, you can find some solution with them, but this is what I thought the simplest solution and most, uh, let's say, direct solution to this problem. If you liked it, like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. See you on our next videos. Bye.